Hello folks and welcome back to my channel. Um, it's another Chatty Get Ready with me and uh, last month I was gonna do one on like body positivity and body confidence with piercings. I specifically wanted to talk about nipple piercings um, because I think those hold a very special place for a lot of different clients and uh, we didn't do that. Well, last last month I was I had a lot of feelings about the Friday the Thirteenth discourse that was happening online. Um, so that is what we talked about then, and I'm gonna circle back around and do my body confidence try to get ready with me because I had a lot of stuff on this subject that I wanted to say. So to start, I think most of us can agree that like piercings can be huge in helping with body confidence, right? Like there is something. I think most of us have experienced about putting a piercing on a part of our body that we either already liked and it making us like it more, or putting a piercing on a part of our body that we didn't like and that piercing teaching us to like and enjoy that part of our body. I would even go so far as to say that virtually everyone who has had piercings has had this type of experience, even people who like just have um, like only earlobe piercings, because like wearing pretty earrings totally gives you body confidence. That feeling when you're like, ah, oh, these earrings just complete this outfit. Like, come on, we all know what I'm talking about. But I specifically really wanted to focus on nipple piercings for this video because I feel like they have such a uniquely empowering role in the realm of body confidence, so much more so than many other piercings. And as an aside, this video is probably going to be from like a distinctly feminine perspective. Um, largely because, you know, that's my lived experience um, when it comes to getting and having nipple piercings is having them on boobs. Uh, but also, I think there's something to be said for the way society views breasts and boobs and the way that they are sexualized and the way that they are criminalized and the way that they are treated and the just unbelievably unrealistic anatomy defying unrealistic standards that exist for breasts and nipples especially in America um and I I basically don't know a single person with boobs who hasn't been made to feel bad about them or shameful or guilty about them or like they're too big or too small or their nipples are the wrong shape or size at some point in their life at, like every single person with boobs has had these awful shameful embarrassing even humiliating experiences surrounding them and this comes largely in part from our culture's like obsession with the sexualization of boobs and breasts. I broke the pump in my moisturizer earlier this week and it's like kind of fixed but it's it's really given me a hard time. There is just this deeply ingrained unrealistic cultural standard when it comes to what boobs are supposed to look like. They're supposed to be big, but not too big. They're supposed to be perky, but still very large. Your nipples are supposed to be small, but also prominent and the exact right color and the exact right shape. And it's just wild when we think about the type of unrealistic beauty standards we put on breasts. And when we also think about the fact that everything that goes towards the unrealistic beauty standard also goes against the biological usage of breasts. Like it is truly wild and so upsetting to me the amount of clients that I encounter who apologize because they have downward facing breasts or nipples. Their nipples aren't like all the way up here. And that's not what society considers beautiful. And they feel ashamed and embarrassed of that part of their body when they come in to get pierced. And so I have to be the one to explain to them, hey, so like your breasts and nipples face more downward because they're designed for breastfeeding. Even if you're never planning on having a child, like think about the position that you nurse a child in when your nipple is more downward facing. Um, it's a lot easier for that child to reach for nursing purposes and shocked. I just, it, people are just shocked because it's not something that we really spend a lot of time learning about or understanding or knowing. And so then we as a society prioritize these like 
perky, super high nipples, um, when downward facing nipples, there's a biological advantage there when it comes to nursing and feeding children, which is what they're designed for. And even if you're someone who never plans on having children or breastfeeding, um, I think that it can be really assuring to realize and remember and remind yourself that that's what boobs biologically evolved for and that these saggy downward facing breasts um, have a biological imperative. Um, but there is just, there is so much targeted, commercialized, capitalist negativity pointed towards breasts of all sizes and shapes and colors. And when I tell you that nipple piercings have been one of the most healing experiences for so many people in my life and so many of my clients, it's... It's unreal. It is unbelievable. It is incredible what we can do with just a body piercing to really reclaim a part of our bin disconnected from and sold back in this impossible repackaged image of what boobs are supposed to look like. And it is no secret to anyone who has followed me for any length of time that I have a huge soft spot when it comes to nipple piercings um, and body confidence. I talk about this a ton uh, over on my TikTok page. I'm always doing updates to my nipple piercing portfolio. It's kind of grown into more of an art project than a portfolio if I'm being honest. Um, not that I don't like I use it to showcase my work and the work that I do as a piercer, but these days it's just as much about showcasing my clients' bodies and like just trying to make a statement to the world that like everyone can get a nipple piercing. The nipple piercings look good on every body um, and that everyone deserves to feel like comfortable and happy and sexy in their own skin. So I've spent the last couple of years just really trying to showcase a very diverse selection of bodies um, in my portfolio to really show people just, you know, that they can get piercings, that they can have them um, and look beautiful and that their bodies are beautiful and perfect and great exactly the way that they are. And I have a soft spot for that because I've always felt very insecure about my own breasts and nipples. I've spent my whole life feeling like they're not the way I want them to look. They're not the way society tells me to look. Um, it turns out that's probably a healthy dose of dysphoria more than it was societal beauty standards surrounding boobs. Um, that's neither here nor there because I still grew up as a girl and a woman and I still grew up experiencing what it was to have breasts and have these unrealistic standards put on my breasts. And... I get it. I know the pain. And nipple piercings were wildly healing for me. Um, and they continue to be wildly healing for so many of my clients. And it's just uh, incredible. It's just incredible that we can, with just this simple, tiny piece of metal, do something that is so empowering and helps us undo years and years of messaging and media and porn telling us that our bodies aren't good enough. Like the amount of clients who cry after getting their nipples pierced is unreal. And it's not people crying because it's painful or because whatever. They get up in the mirror and they look and they cry because it is truly, truly one of the first times they have looked at their breasts in the mirror without judgment and without negativity where they've looked at themselves in the mirror and gone wow I feel beautiful I feel sexy I like this part of my body like in that moment post piercing and they are pretty intense piercings I'm not gonna lie um they can still be very manageable with a good piercer and good jewelry and good technique but they're still pretty intense so like you've just gone through that you just experienced that and obviously you're feeling strong as shit for getting through it, for doing it. And then you get up and you look in the mirror and you see those cute little barbells, um, a visual reminder of the strength that you just had to get through that piercing. And you look at yourself and at this part of your body that you have been told your entire life to hate and feel bad about and feel wrong about. And in that moment, you are feeling so strong. You are feeling so empowered. There are so many endorphins. You are like, 
holy shit, I am a badass. I can do this. I just did this. And I look really freaking sexy, really freaking cool. This is amazing. And a lot of people get really emotional in that moment. And it is wild to me that we go through so much of our lives feeling so insecure and uncomfortable and unsafe about such an integral part of our body. Um, and it is twice as wild to me that through something as simple, simple as a body piercing, we can make people feel so comfortable and confident and just completely change the relationship they have with this body part. And it's one of, you know, I think the coolest things that we as piercers get to do and one of the most amazing things that we as piercers get to do. I like truly cannot even begin to express how grateful I am that I get to provide a service that opens the doorway for so much healing and empowerment and bodily reclamation and body confidence for so many different people. And, you know, I don't say this like nipple piercings are going to be a magical one size fits all. Like you're going to get your nipples pierced and, and wake up the next day and be like, I love my body. I don't have any problems with my body. Um, that's not true. It's still... It's still a journey. It's still a process. You're still going to have bad body days and good body days. But the piercings can be a really powerful first step or second or third step to building that healthier relationship with your body and to learning to be kind to your body. And especially the process of having to heal piercings and take care of them and be present with them day in and day out for months and months on end um, really kind of forces you to look at your body through a lens of kindness and care and compassion rather than just look at yourself in the mirror and be like, ugh, I look disgusting or avoid looking at yourself altogether. Um, and there is a lot of power and healing and self-confidence to be found in those moments. Um, and we get to do all that with just a body piercing. And that's wild. Um, and if you're watching this and you can relate to being someone who feels really insecure or uncomfortable with this part of your body or who has struggled with a lot of these societal standards surrounding beauty and our breasts and how they're supposed to look, um, I cannot encourage you enough to think about nipple piercings. And you know, in the sake of full transparency, I'll be honest, they're not, they're not for everyone. They're not for everyone. They can be a lot of work to get done and get heal, and that's okay if they're not for you. But if you're on the fence, talk to some people who have them, hear some people's experiences about them. And if you're on the fence but you're thinking to yourself, they can't look good on my body, look at my portfolio. Shameless self-promotion, but look at my portfolio because you're wrong, and they will look amazing on your body, and I can guarantee you that. I guarantee it. And I just feel so strongly that so many of us have been done a complete disservice by society and beauty standards and these horribly toxic relationships we build with our bodies our whole life um, because we're never shown or guided through how to have confidence and comfort and love in our bodies. And piercing can just be such an incredible way to reclaim that and take that back and build a healthier situation and a healthier relationship with your body. And nipple piercings in particular, especially for women, hold a very special place in my heart um, and just a very special place in general, I feel like, with how much they can provide when it comes to self-confidence and self-love and self-worth. And I just think that that is some of the real magic that we get to do as body piercers. Not that I don't love doing, you know, my run-of-the-mill everyday piercings um, and, you know, simple piercings, but oof, the thing that keeps me in piercing, the thing that keeps me coming back are experiences like getting to do, like getting to do nipple piercings for someone and watching that client get up and look in the mirror and start crying or laughing uncontrollably or just be in shock because it's the first time they've really looked at this part of their body without hatred and without distaste and without feeling less than and getting to be such an incredible part of people's journey towards self-love and self-confidence and learning to feel comfortable and safe and happy in their body and love that the body they're in and realize that their body is perfect exactly the way it is.
and it's incredible. And I wish when we talked more about piercings on like a broad scale, we talked more about these elements of piercings instead of just the fashion of piercings or instead of just how sexy nipple piercings can be. Um, like I wish we talked about, I wish we talked more about the really deep and incredible emotional revelations and connections that these piercings can create with our body and the ways that they can be these little acts of rebellion against a culture and a community that wants us to hate our body, that actively profits from us hating these parts of our bodies. Anyway, today's makeup is giving me vaguely Harley Quinn vibes when what I wanted was trans pride flag vibes, but we're gonna rock with it because we have a bunch of filming to get done today. But thanks for sitting down and getting ready with me before I go film a bunch more content for y'all. And yeah, I feel very passionately about the power of nipple piercings and about what it can do for people. And they will always be one of my favorite piercings to perform because of that element. Not necessarily the act of doing them or the process, but just what they can provide for people is, it's, it's incredible. As per usual, thank you for sitting down and hanging out. Um, and thank you for all of your support. Every like and subscribe means the world to me. Um, I can't wait to sit down and hang out again soon. And I can't wait for you to see the rest of what we're filming today because we've got some good, good stuff in the pipeline. All right, folks, I'm going to get to filming. Have an awesome rest of your day. And I'm sure we'll sit down and chat again soon. Bye.